Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 12, verses 24 to 28. And the Bible said this, Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? If you then are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, and yet the, I say to you, even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? So God takes care of the birds. God takes care of the grass. God takes care of the needs of all these creatures. He he, he is very much on the job. He's very much on point. He's providing for all the different creatures, all the things that they need, God is providing. And he says, by the way, point, points out to us, what can we do? Can we, can we increase our stature? Can we, can we make this and that changes? There's a few little changes we can make in our life, but a lot of things are set. I cannot suddenly be uh, six foot six. It's just not what's been given to me. I'm a little bit shorter than that. I'm somewhat shorter than that. But you know what? Even though I can't change that, I shouldn't worry about it. God God has God has my back. God has what I need. He's going to give me what I need. He, he is watching over me, whether I'm tall or short. And so, friends, uh, look at this. What about the flowers? These little flowers, even the grass on the ground, it's, it seems so insignificant to us, and yet God is... God clothes it. God provides the water, the nutrients that it needs. He provides all that's needed. We can trust in him. He has what we need. God is on our side. If God is for us, then, you know, it doesn't really matter who else is against us. We're going to be fine to go. So God is telling us here, let's, let's tune in. We, there's so many things that we get all nervous about. We don't need to be nervous about that. God has it. God is taking care of it. We can put our focus and spend our energies on living for Jesus and on being kind to other people. These other things, there's so many of them, and the devil would like to encompass us, to surround us and, and, and bury us in so many cons nervous concerns, but we don't need to do that, and we shouldn't do that. God is for us. Oh, friend, what a beautiful way, a thought uh, for us today in the scriptures. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you have all that we need. There's many things we tend to worry about. We, we want to worry about all these things and have big concerns and get all stirred up and be excited. And we can't lay in bed and we can't sleep at night because we're so worried about all these things. These things that you already have taken care of, these are already under your control. So Lord, help us to relax, help us to surrender, to submit these things to you and to just trust in you. And we'll have mental health that we don't have when we are trying to be God and run the world. Oh, thank you, Lord, that you are God. Show us how to simply be disciples. Now, Lord, we ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, take a deep breath. Relax. God is on your side, and he will bless the world through you today if you're simply attentive to him in the opportunities he gives us. May his blessings be upon you.